Are you ready to read a thon? I'm Marvin Eaton, library assistant here at the Seeking Public Library, coming to you with 10 great tips to get you geared up for our readathon starting tonight. First of all, what is a readathon? A readathon is a reading marathon where participants challenge themselves to read as much as they can within a certain amount of time. So, how much are you ready to read? Tip number one set a goal and know what you're reading. Having a list will help keep you going. Aim high, but keep it realistic so you enjoy yourself. It's okay if you don't finish them all. Now, with that goal in mind, we need some ways to keep us motivated to reach it. Tip number two, grab a buddy. Get some accountability, whether this is telling a friend your goals, grabbing a reading buddy for a reading date, or joining a group. If you're here for the Great Summer Readathon, we've got you covered. If you're watching this, there are plenty of great online forums and groups at your fingertips just waiting for you to join, or you can start your own. Tip number three, find your fuel. We're in this for the long haul, so we need to find ways to keep us going. Whether you're planning on being up late into the night and need some caffeine, or just want something to munch on while reading, get these things ready ahead of time so they're ready to go when your readathon starts. If you're part of our readathon group, we posted a readathon snack tutorial on our group yesterday. You can find a link to that video in the description below or on our group page. Tip number four, put up your phone, silence it, set it to do not disturb, whatever you gotta do. It's right at the peak of readathon that cat memes and TikToks are the most tempting. Don't cave in. Tip number five, Get comfy and set up a cozy reading spot complete with everything you need to make your reading experience better. Whether that's cozy pajamas, a cozy blanket and some pillows, your favorite chair. Also, change it up. Nobody likes to stiff back from being hunched over their book too long. Tip number six goes hand in hand with number five. Don't get too cozy, especially if it's an all-nighter. Getting comfy in bed with your stack of books is a surefire way to doze off and cut your reading session short. Tip number seven. Set the atmosphere with mood lighting and some music. I personally like reading with slightly dim lights and soft music in the background. Helps me focus and relax. However, don't dim the lights too much though. You're going to be reading a while, so you want good lighting to make it easy on your eyes. Lo-fi is currently my favorite type of reading music. It's soothing and slow, but not soft enough to make me sleepy. Tip number eight, change up your reading. If a book's going slow, don't feel like you have to keep trudging through. Switch up to something short and quick, then come back to the bigger book. Maybe alternate a large novel with the light, fun graphic novel. Keep this in mind when preparing your reading stack. Tip number nine, take a break. Get up and walk around every now and then. It's okay to pause for a bit and spend some time with your friends and loved ones. Your books will always be reading. If your eyes are tired, you can give them a break by listening to an audiobook. If you're a member with our library, you have free access to hundreds of audiobooks through the Cloud Library and Overdrive app. Another great way to take a break is, Tip number 10, share your readings. Whether it's in your reading group or by leaving a review on our catalog or on a social readers platform like Goodreads, let others know what you thought. Who knows, you might help a friend find their next favorite read. And that's all I've got for you today. I hope this video has you excited and ready to kick off our readathon tonight. If you like this video, be sure to like it and subscribe for more great library related content. And be sure to follow us on our social media for more activities and crafting tips, tricks, and ideas. Bye.